Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the JS13K Games Jam entries for 2015. The JS13K Games is a JavaScript coding competition for HTML5 game developers. The fun part of the compo is the file size limit is set to 13 kilobytes. There are 160 entries into this gem. I'll be playing each one for about a minute. Links to the individual games will be in the description of this video. Links to all of my information will also be in the video if you want to check me out. Um, and as always, thank you for watching and liking and commenting. That's it. Next. Next, we're playing the game Ghosts. Arrow keys to move, catch the other guy. So it's like a reverse Pac-Man. Okay. Got him. Alright. Be pinky. I'll have the orange guy got him. So each one has a different number. That's neat. Okay, let's go. Let's go orange. We wanna go orange. Oh shit, no we don't wanna run away. Come on, turn back. There we go. Ah. Let the red guy go away. Okay. Oh. It's quite neat. Next. Next, we're playing the game BHB. We do the tutorial. This is you. Go grab the blue dot. Mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so you like, you start falling. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can actually play. I don't really know what's happening. Huh. It's just like you're a falling dot, and there's this blue dot that you really want, but you can't really have because life. I like the tutorial. I wish it was a bit more helpful. Turn the square. I don't know. Next. Next, we're playing the game Please Die. Hi there. Things work. Slightly differently. So Eric needs to move it up to jump. Yeah, we need to die actually, so. Rest in peace. The aim of all life is death. I lowered the volume of the sounds a bit. Death is not always easy. There's fire. And now we just need to stay away from that water blob. Also, electricity. Oh, your electricity? You like water. But beware of rainbows. Rainbows make people happy. Oh. And happy people don't want to die. Right? Sharp edges. I like the bits of blood that are splattered everywhere. This is quite a well-made platformer. Next. Next, we're playing the game Ribbit Smash. Alright. This is survival. Oh. So basically, you hate frogs. The frog population is doing very well. So you're killing them. So that they don't make it to the pond behind you. So it's neat that there's two modes. I'll check out the other mode in a minute, because I'm pretty sure I can survive this mode for a while. I also like the little 
marks for making on the road. That was survival. We're gonna play rampage next. But this is how many you can kill in a set amount of time. Fuck. I guess there are a lot of frogs. I see a pattern of where I drive. This is insane. Next. Next, we're playing the game Reverse Gravity. Space to jump, enter to reverse gravity. How awesome. It's an endless runner. Well, I was trying to catch that, but I didn't get it. I was oh, I was hoping I could bang into him and like be okay. But I guess not. And I guess if you get hit by a bullet, you just lose some health. I like running on the roof. Got it. Oh. Fuck jumping. Switch gravity. Next. Next, we're playing the game of Fantastic Monster Chronicles. Zed to start. Chapter 1. Humans have raided our village. They stole our future. Help me get them back. Oh, wow. This looks beautiful. What are my controls? It's a little bit too big for my screen, but if you scroll down, it shows me basically like a Game Boy screen. I just don't know what buttons to use to do stuff. A and B, maybe? I touched the chest. Now can I unlock the door? Yeah, I didn't think so. Or do I need to click these? Oh. We are making progress, but obstacles are in our way. Okay. Yeah, I like these fucking rocks. Alright. Well, those rocks aren't actually in our way. This is really nice. Next. Next, we're playing the game. It's a lovely day for a drive. Are we driving in reverse? Oh, goodness. I don't want to die. You just slow down. Alright. I don't want to get into a car accident. Because I'm on the wrong side of the road. Ah, lovely crash. To restart. Graphics are beautiful in this. Ah. Like how it tells me my crash was lovely. Next. Next, we're playing the game Nova Runner. Even now, it's clear that the most significant scientific discovery of the century was the spontaneous generation of a previously unknown element in the moments immediately before the expansion of a Nova. 
I'm not gonna read all this instructions. With arrow keys, shoot with space, press P with pause, destroy all the rocks in a sector to jump to the next one. You have 10 seconds until the Nova explodes. Time will rewind immediately before the Nova explodes. Previous timelines will continue. All right, we got this. Except we probably don't get this because I, I suck. I suck at asteroids. Shit. Everything rewinded. So I didn't do it. <laughs> Floating around like an idiot trying to help previous me. So that was a third one. Alright, so it gives you like as many as you need to help you. Still can't do it. This is just sector one. <laughs> Yes. Finally did it successfully. This is a pretty cool idea, though. I like the spin on it. Next. Next, we're playing the game Ant Realm. This game is pretty laggy for me. Um, just letting you know. Alright, at the left you can see commands that you and the Ant Queen can send. It's scrollable. The commands are for gnomes and will last some seconds. You have two kinds of advanced workers and warriors you recognize by size. Warriors will not get food, but it will fight better. Your ants are always back. Always spelled wrong. You can move the map by touching the edges or using arrow keys. You can close this page and command again. Alright. I put mine right next to this guy's. I want to attack this guy. Because I'm a bit. I don't have a lot of warriors, though, to be honest. This is kind of a cool world that everyone can just go and be a part of. There's another ant hill, I guess it's over here, according to our mini map. So that's mine. Good food. Alright, next. Next, we're playing the game Falling Down. Okay, so this is like a reverse jumper. Holy shit. It's really hard, because for whatever reason, its mouse sensitivity is a bit off. I've totally moved my mouse completely off the screen and it just kind of lags a bit. It might be because I'm using recording software, but I totally moved my mouse way over to the point where it was off the screen and it wasn't moving with me. But it's a great, great idea. Ugh. Ugh. Next.